What's up guys, it's your girl Tiff. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Today, guys, gals, today we are doing another tutorial, another crochet tutorial, but this is so unlike all of my other tutorials. This is just like phenomenal. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to knock this out. So before I even get started, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for tuning in and showing me love. If you are not a subscriber, I don't know what you're waiting for. Join the team, be a part of the family. It's all love over here. It is all love over here, okay? So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below somewhere. Be a part of the team, be a part of the family, and let's go, okay? So today's video, as you can see, is a crochet tutorial but unlike my typical tutorials where you know I have my hair corn rolled or braided I did the braidless crochet method because I was not able to get my hair braided this time and I was like Tiff you can figure this out you can do a braidless crochet tutorial so that's that's what I did that is what I did and I'm like so happy and so proud of myself because I did watch a few uh, tutorials before doing this or attempting this on my own hair and the issue that I was finding is that a lot of tutorials that I start with either for TWAs you know teeny weeny afros or you know the girls had longer hair where it would put it all up in a ponytail or plaits or and my hair is so uneven damaged broken especially around the entire perimeter edges all of this it broke off do heat damage tension all of that so it's growing out so like literally you'll see in my tutorial that even in the front of my hair, I have a piece of hair about that big and then right behind it, I have a long strand of hair. So it was really hard for me to try to figure out how to actually get that to lay down because I couldn't put that in the ponytail because all of that was just fuzz up and come out. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Like I'm super geeked and super proud of myself because I did not think I was going to be able to do that. But now that I know I can rock a crochet without braids underneath, baby, it's on and pop. I ain't got to worry about getting my hair braided no more. I ain't got to worry about trying to hunt somebody down and braid my hair. So I'm super geek. I hope you guys like this look. This is the Free Tress Go Go Curl. I have in, whew, what do I have in? I have two full packs of the number two. I want to get number two instead of my typical 101B. Then I have a pack of, I think it's TP43, TB47. It's something like that. Um, I still basically, I didn't even cut this have basically a full pack I opened this pack to take out maybe about this much in terms of hair um, I took I opened this pack just to take out this much hair because I needed a little bit more of the darker brown in my hair so I basically still have a whole pack of that left and you know I'm about a handful of, nope there's more yeah about a handful of the strands of the tea I don't know girls guys I think it's TP 43 47 but I'll have a list but I have a handful of that because this is my vacation here. I'm going on vacation next week. I'm going on vacation next week to New Orleans. So I wanted to try something different. You guys know that I will cut my hair, shave my hair, crochet my hair, weave my hair, braid my hair, all of that. But I never do color. So this is like a slow transition for your girl. I basically did like some highlights. So this is the look. And let me show you really quick the back before my battery dies. So this is the back of my hair and you'll see throughout the tutorial that the back of my hair is actually in a ponytail. Just the half, the, yeah, the back part of my hair is in a ponytail and it's like a little puff ball right there. But you can see, you can't even see that puff. You can't even see the puff. Um, you can't see the puff because the hair covers it up. But I'm feeling this look. I hope you guys like this. This is definitely spring, summer. This, this, that ish right here. This, that jam. Definitely the fact that I added a little color. Look, color, look, color, look, color. I feel like that Janet Jackson cover. Remember when she was like this? I just need somebody to hold these girls in. I need to kind of lose a little bit more weight. But she was like, she had the nice curly hair. I'm, I'm feeling that right now. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Help your Girls who can't braid like me, help them out, plug this video, share this video, and I will see you. Let's go. Okay, so getting started, you guys will see that I have already sectioned off some of my hair, uh, just separated and put them into rubber bands. Um, and you can kind of see like the areas of my hair that are damaged and the areas that are not. And that's really 
geared towards the front of my head but let me just show y'all like here is the front part that I was talking about like it's super short right there because it broke and then it's super long you know right next to it so I had to find a way to definitely be able to get this hair to sit down so I'm using my detangler leave-in condition I believe this is from oh Yes, cream and age this is their coconut milk detangler. I'm just gonna go ahead and section off my hair, starting with the front, since that is the shortest and most damaged part. I'm just going to part that and put that into a little ponytail. So you guys see, this is why I cannot just put the front of my hair all into a ponytail because I have such breakage around the perimeter of my hair, it would have not stayed in a full ponytail. So I just have to section it off into little bitty sections with the rubber band. Okay, and right here you will see that I am sectioning off my hair um, or making my part. I wanted to do a side part, and then I also wanted to do a middle part, so you'll see I have a middle part and a side part. I wound up going with the side part, but yeah, I'm sectioning it off and just combing down the baby hairs because, baby, we don't need no more tension, like none. So I'm going to go ahead and section that off and put the rubber bands around that area too. And once I have my hair completely sectioned, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that first uh, or that front section. I'm going to take the hair that's left out and twist it, and I'm going to connect it to the section in back of that and twist all of that hair together. And this is what I'm going to do throughout my whole head, and just put that down with a clip. So to show you again, I'm taking the front part of my hair, twisting the leave out. Pulling that back, connecting that to the other part of my hair that is left out, twisting that all together. So I just have one twist continuously throughout my head. So yeah, your girl had to get creative for those edges. God, I cannot wait for that to grow out. But what I'm gonna do now is, now I'm gonna take three sections or three uh, strands of hair that I twisted and put a rubber band around those to connect that. And I'm gonna do that on the other side. Um, take the uh, three pieces of hair that were twisted and connect that. You see, I had to leave that front section out on my edge because it wasn't long enough to reach back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my detangler. Um, spray into the back of my hair, comb it through, and then take my brush and put that in the ponytail. And you guys are not going to see this hump, trust me, you're not going to see this hump. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the ponytail and let's go. I'm going to be using a wig liner cap. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. Mine was $2.99. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on my head. And you see it has like the long um, extra part of the stocking cap or the wig cap. I just went ahead and cut that and then tied the a knot around it. So now I tied the knot first, pulled it to secure it a little tight, and I just cut off that excess with a scissor and boom. Like I said earlier, I'm using four packs of hair. I have three in the color number two, and I have one in TP, TB430. So this was more like, not a honey blonde, but like a darker um, blonde and brown mix, which I thought would be nice to add some color to my hair. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that hair that is the full hair out of the pack, and I'm going to cut it because I didn't want my hair long, I wanted it short. Um, so I'm gonna cut that hair. And you guys, if you've seen any of my crochet tutorials before, this is pretty much the same routine. I didn't do anything different. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my hair and section it off to get ready to crochet.
So the only thing that is basically different here is versus me having cornrows and just sliding my crochet needle through my cornrows, I'm just sliding my crochet needle through my wig cap. I'm not going to lie, at first I was like, do I just try to slide it through the, the wig cap or do I try to make sure it goes under the hair? But you just slide it through your hair, through the crochet, um, through the wig cap, and then just securing it. It's the exact same thing as if you were doing it with cornrows or braids. Nothing different. Just slide it through, and it goes in with ease. It wasn't like hard to just slide it through. It's just boom, slide it through, hook your hair on, slide it back through, twist it, and that's it. This is one pack of hair. It really cover up really the whole back of my hair, which is when I knew, girl, you did not need four packs of hair, but this is one pack of hair. And you can see, I basically put it all the way down to the nape of my neck. Um, now I'm gonna start taking the TP430 and blending that in throughout the middle because I wanted my hair to have like a highlight streak effect. So again, the same process, loop it through, connect it, twist it. That So right now I'm just going to cut some of my hair um, and then I'm going to actually cut the wig cap. And this guys, I'm not going to lie, I wish I never cut the wig cap because the wig cap was nice and secure with no problem, right? Once I cut it, it's like the band, once you cut the band, the wig cap like tightens up and pulls back which was really hurting like the first two days. So note to self next time, just leave the wig cap. Um, uncut and just crochet over that but you know you live and you learn and you find out so you see like I'm pulling the uh, perimeter of the wig cap the elastic part and cutting that like I said I wish I would have never done that because it just basically drew it in it drew the actual wig cap in and it was just pulling against my hair but after two days it loosened up but baby never again Okay, and once I have everything cut, now I'm gonna um, go ahead and crochet around the perimeter of, my, perimeter of my hair as well because I don't want it to look spacey and I don't want you to really see that I cut that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some more crochets in my hair and get it how I want it to look. So yeah, I'm just gonna fluff out the hair. Um, you can do the trick with the comb, take a wide tooth comb and comb through the hair to make it a little bit more bigger and volume, volume, add more volume to it. I didn't do that because actually once I was done with this, the next day I went and added a little bit more of the hair because I still had a whole pack left over. So I added a little bit more of the hair. I just basically separated it, spread it out, and bam, that is the look. So. This is my look, guys. I hope you like this. If you like this method and want me want to see me do more, then please go ahead and put that in the comment section below. See you guys later.